So you're trying to decide whether you want to get an Elgato Wave Mic Arm high profile or low profile. This video is going to show you the differences and similarities. And honestly, it just depends on what system and setup you have. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm actually very excited for this one. When I first bought the high profile one, I didn't know that the high profile didn't have the built in magnetic cable management, which is totally fine. The one that it already has is great, but I wanted the magnetic ones and I wanted to, you know, experiment with those and have fun with them, but I didn't have it. So I got the LP version. So we got the instruction manual with a whole bunch of info. You've got the classic clamp with a pad on it so it doesn't damage your desk. This opens up to be 60 millimeters. So it can fit on pretty much any desk you want and pretty easy for the mic arm to go inside this attachment. The big boy and it's got some other attachments. It can fit pretty much any microphone on this mic arm. Now, one thing I noticed about the low profile right away was that it can lift up to 90 degrees which is really nice in case you're standing and then you know go back to sitting down you can choose what height this mic arm can be so you're not just limited to the high profile one where it goes pretty high it's it's actually a very very big mic arm uh, and then going back down to sitting which is what i do a lot on my stream with this one i wasn't sure if you could until i saw that i could go 90 degrees up which is a nice little trick and i think it's really handy Let's say you're packing it up or just want it to fit in small places. You can disassemble it pretty easily and then just set it back on. And uh, let's put this on the clamp actually. And then once you put it in your desk, this is going to be right under your monitors. This is really nice. And then you just adjust the ball head, which goes in any direction. Your keyboard's right under here. Just to be transparent, Algado did send me the Algado low profile mic arm but I did buy the high profile with my own money right when it was announced and it went live to the masses. That's when I bought it and I've had it ever since. And it's my favorite mic arm I've ever owned. And I've been seriously considering getting another high profile mic arm because you can mount more than just your microphone. You can put your webcam, so have an overhead camera for your keyboard or whatever you want to do it for and put your Algado face cam right on that mic arm, which is really, really nice. Come check it out. I live stream all the time and uh, we can learn more about this kind of stuff. <clears throat> now, this obviously works with any microphone you want and I can put my Shure SM7B or my Shure MV7 on it or pretty much whatever microphone I have. But I'm gonna put on the Elgato Wave 3, which is Elgato's most popular microphone. And we're gonna see how this takes on the mic arm because this is probably what most people are gonna do anyways. Using this microphone is extremely versatile, powerful, and very useful with the software it comes with. So let's go ahead and put this on. Oh. <laughs> so already pretty straightforward. Let's adjust that. And then really nice, it just goes in any direction I want. Now let's get the cable and then all of this is Pretty self-explanatory. By the way, with the Wave 3 comes an adapter, so you can put this on, uh, this microphone at least, you can put this on any mic arm you want. It doesn't just have to be the Elgato Wave mic arms. Okay, USB goes into the computer, and then I'm gonna plug this right into the mic right away, because what you can do is lift these up. These are metal, these are solid. Wow, that's pretty cool. And you can just put this in, just like that. It's magnetic, do it with the other one. See, so just like your computer setup, which has terrible cable management, this one has great cable management. So, um, oh, this might actually be nice. Look at this. So, let's do that. Okay, so now I have a whole bunch of space with my keyboard here. I'm not gonna hit the mic arm for any reason. 
or I can, you know, set it like this so that the microphone's pointing to my mouth and I don't have to, you know, hear the sound of the keyboard going in because on the back of the microphone, it cancels out all the audio. I like the easy cable management that Elgato has done with this mic arm. It can go pretty, pretty much anywhere and then, you know, collapse it down to whatever you want it to collapse to. There again, 90 degrees, so if I stand, so you can see here, if I stand, the microphone is right by my mouth, which is, you know, out of frame, but it still works nice. Okay, so you might be wondering, what user is this mic on low profile for? And to be completely honest, it can be for anyone. Now, one thing I do wanna mention are the differences between the low profile and the high profile. Now, Elgato has made a wide range of mic arms for whatever situation you might have. Some people might prefer the low profile so that it goes under their monitor and not over, because, you know, sometimes in some situations, the high profile can cover your left or right monitor, depending on which side you set it on. So some people don't like that. I've been able to get used to it. It's what I've always done, and it doesn't really cover my monitor all that much anyways. But for those people who do not like the mic arm going over, just use the one going underneath. You can even set the clamp onto the other side of the desk and have it come from the side, but it just won't be going over your monitor. So this is really nice. Now, I wanna mention the differences between these two mic arms because there are some significant ones. The low profile can support up to twice the weight of the high profile. Although you can see my Shure SM7B, which is on the high profile one, and it supports it just fine. It doesn't fall down and it stays where I set it, which is nice. One thing to mention is the high profile does come with a counterweight. So even if you have a light microphone like the Wave 3 or the Wave 1 or whatever one you use, you can put that counterweight and it's not gonna fly up when you put that light microphone. With the low profile, it doesn't come with a counterweight, but then again, it you know, you don't really need it. You just move it and it's right there. It, it doesn't, you know, move at all really. So you set it where it is and just leave it and it stays there. The Algara low profile arm has an Allen key or Allen wrench as some people call it. You can adjust the strength of the top arm that goes up and down. So if you have a heavier mic, you can go ahead and tighten this and your mic arm is not gonna sag or fall down. Both clamps are strong. The mic arms hold heavy microphones and the low profile holds twice the amount of weight as the high profile, which doesn't make sense to me, but that's what it says on paper, so. In addition, it's got these holes in the top and bottom for cable management, so you can run your cable whichever way you want. Now with the low profile one supporting up to 4.4 pounds and the high profile up to 2.2 pounds, they're pretty much gonna support any microphone that you might have. Now, there are some similarities as well. So the cable management, well, first of all, it is slightly different, but they do have cable management built into the mic arms, unlike most other mic arms that you get on the industry. So uh, you've got the one that slides in here, which is a little tough to pull out of the groove, but once it's out, it's pretty easy. This one is very easy to undo, but sometimes can come undone if you adjust it and the cable's pulling on it like this. Just one thing to note and to be careful of, Another similarity that both of these mic arms have is the ball head here. It's used for any microphone you might have. With the Shure SM7B, it's got a unique connection here. It still fits really well. In fact, better than most other mic arms that you have out there. I had the Rode PSA1 mic arm, and this high profile does way better as far as attaching the Shure SM7B to this mic arm. Um, and if you counted how many times I've said mic arm in this video yet, leave a comment down below and I'll pin it. Now, another key difference between these two microphone arms is the high profile can go right over your monitor if that's what you wanna do. Some people might wanna use a shotgun microphone rather than something like this, and it's a really good opportunity to do that. The high profile also has a riser which can lift your microphone arm up to 150 millimeters or 5.9 inches, additionally to what it already has. So you can clamp the mic arm onto the back of your desk and still have that mic arm go right over your monitor. Some people like that. Now the low profile version doesn't have that type of riser on the beginning here. I don't see why they can't, they connect the same way. Um, I guess you could use it. This wasn't designed for this, but can it do it? Uh, have they intentionally made it so you can't 
slot it in. Okay, so there is a little bit of a gap. Um, keep in mind, it's not designed for this. This is, you know, this riser comes with the high profile. It doesn't come with the low profile. Now, ultimately, this is all up to you. It just depends on what your situation is. You might not want the low profile because you like what the high profile has to offer and vice versa. Don't let me make your decision for you. I'm just here to kind of dissect these and, you know, see what pros and cons they have. Are they worth it? Which, by the way, they are. Um, they are actually the best mic arms out there. And I'm not just saying that because I'm an Algarda partner. Like I, I only partnered up with Algarda because they make the best streaming gear out there. Uh, which brings me to the $1,500 Algarda stream gear giveaway. We're doing it right now. Link is down below. Go check it out. Three winners. Pretty neat. Sponsored by Algarda. And if you're looking for royalty free DMCA safe music for all of your live streaming or video content, the music you've been listening to is by my record label Ampus Beats and you can listen to currently lo-fi and amped that are out on everything. <laughs> Spotify, YouTube music, Apple music, Pandora, whatever it is. You don't have to worry about any copyright laws, play it on your streams or in your videos and you can use them for free so you don't have to pay anything for it either. Link is down below, go check those out. You can even use it for your clients. So if you're an editor or a media company and need music for all of your videos, there you go. And the more you listen to them, the more of these albums we can make. Oh yeah, please don't forget to like the video. It really does help. Uh, just let YouTube's algorithm know, hey, come on, just get this video out and kind of thing. I really appreciate it. Thank you. This is my full-time job. It means a lot. If you enjoyed the video or just found it helpful, leave a like, that'd be appreciated. And if you're new, subscribe and stick around. I'll see you next time. But until then, make something great.